Galnet News Update, 5th of July, 3307. Divisions within the Marlinist colonies have been highlighted after an anonymous broadcast claiming to speak for the NMLA backed Minister Aaron White as its political representative. White has previously claimed that he represents the NMLA. This confirmation from the NMLA itself means that Marlinists must decide between either backing an organisation that claims to have renounced violence and that may stand a chance of gaining representation in the Imperial Senate in return for paying reparations for its past victims, or remaining part of a small cluster of law-abiding colonies on the fringes of civilization that remain under constant threat of subsumption by their more powerful neighbours. The choice between backing a terrorist organisation that promises to let them resume contact with their relatives in the Empire and fading quietly into obscurity. The NMLA is seeking a permanent presence in the Imperial Senate, but it is made clear that although its method may have changed from violence to negotiation, its objective, the complete removal of the Emperor and the Duval dynasty from the Empire and the establishment of democratic elections to the Senate, remains unchanged. There are sympathetic voices within the Imperial Senate, including Lorcan Scordato, but Denton Petraeus has made it clear that he will not negotiate with terrorists, and it seems unlikely that Emperor Arissa Duval will be keen to surrender her power and bring to an end a thousand-year dynasty. The majority of Marlinists still seem to view the NMLA and its newfound political wing, the Marlinism Reformation Party, with suspicion and hostility. However, Minister White and the Marlinism Reformation Party have been gaining influence bringing with them the spectre of a bloody civil war that might destroy the Marlinist colonies from within. <laughs>